Well, welcome to the Song of Prayer. Um, I'm joined with Susanna to start off the show. Uh, we were feeling to, to sing a song. We're going to sing Jesus Culture's song, Show Me Your Glory. And we hadn't planned on singing this song, actually. We, we've only run through it a few times and it didn't feel ready. But Susanna said to me this morning that she had a dream that we sang this song on my show and we, it, it was flawless. <laughs> so um, we said, well, let's just try it and see how it feels. So we played it this morning and it wasn't flawless in form, but, we, <laughs> but we've just felt really, really good singing it. It just felt like, yeah, there was this beautiful vibe with it. And I think we just wanted to, to go with that and, and allow the form not to be perfect, but just, yeah, sing this song that brings us into the presence. And for me, this song is just really a love song to God. So, I see the cloud I step in I want to see your glory like Moses did Flashes of light and rolls of thunder, but I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid. Show me your glory. Show me your glory, oh God. Show me your glory. Show me your glory. Moored by your beauty, lost in your eyes, I long to walk in your presence like Jesus did. Glory surrounds me, and I'm overwhelmed, but I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid. Show me your glory. Show me your glory, oh God. Show me your glory. Show me your glory. I long to look on the face of the one that I love, long to stay in your presence. It's where I belong, long to look on the face of the one that I love, long to stay in your presence. It's where I belong. where I belong. 
show me your glory show me your glory oh god show me your glory show me your glory show me your glory Yeah, feeling a little bit of a shake. Yeah, I feel like over the past few months, I've just feel, felt like there's been this, this huge expansion for me. And um, it seems to be after saying yes and stepping in, first of all, to, to doing these shows and also with, um, with getting in touch in a deeper way with, with my calling music. And it seems like they both kind of came in at the, around the same time, um, started doing these shows. And then I had this experience with watching the Hillsong movie with David and the community here. And I shared a bit about that on, on a previous show. Um, just what a heart opening experience that was for me. Just felt like, something ignited in me when I was watching that movie, um, this feeling like there was something much bigger than me, like something huge that, that wanted to, wanted to, <laughs> that, that wanted to come through and, um, And yeah, I, I, I feel like the same thing is happening for me with these shows. Um, every time I have a show, so every two weeks, the days leading up to it, I, I've been experiencing like this real intensity. And um, yeah, everybody who lives with me in the house here <laughs> knows that it's like a lot of emotion has been coming up for me and this feeling of um, this intense pressure in the mind and um yesterday i it was really coming up a lot just like a lot of emotion and a lot of fear and uh, just noticing the thoughts the um the ego thoughts that were coming in were you don't have um you don't have anything real to share you know there's you you don't have anything to offer and feeling like I wasn't able to get in touch with a real place to be able to speak from. And each time I do this show, or even the thought of this show, it feels like there's actually a magnifying glass on me. And um, yeah, any kind of hiding that's, that's there, any, any hiding in my mind or wanting to be hidden, it's like it's being exposed and it's like the lights are on. And for these 30 minutes, it's like something, um, yeah, I, I have to be real. I can't sit here for 30 minutes and speak about something that doesn't feel real for me. And I actually feel like the intensity that's been coming up is... Um, is the terror around that, the terror of actually getting in touch with that on a consistent basis and feels like it's the same thing with the singing. In order for me really to get in touch with the singing, I have to get in, in touch with something that's, that's not of me, like something that's real. 
And I was praying about this this morning and this realization came into my mind that, yeah, there's, there's this light, there's this strength that is always there. And um, there's a fear of truly connecting with it because if I connect with it, then I can no longer say that I'm a victim of this world. I can no longer say that I'm at the, the effect of anything. And just seeing very strongly in my mind that there's a victim identity that is who I think I am. And it's what I operate on. And it's, there seems to be like some sense of in that I know who I am. Um, and in order to, to connect with something that's, that's real, something that's beyond that, I have to let go of that. And in that, it's like, well, who am I? And um, I'm, I'm really seeing like the contrast experience, like that intensity that's coming up for me around the show. It's like for 30 minutes, I, I have to be transparent. I have to be real and to see how much I, I don't do that actually in, in my life every day. And like living in this community, I feel like everything is focused towards being transparent. And there's, you know, so much opportunity to share what's, like the thoughts or the feelings, like whatever is going on, that's what we're joining in. And I really thought that I was doing that. Um, but this contrast experience of being here in front of the camera and seeming like there's no, um, there's nothing to hide behind. I'm seeing that actually I compromise a lot on a day to day basis. I don't, um, truly share my heart and it's not it's not really just with everybody else it's with myself I am um, there's something that I deny on a on a daily basis and um, I'm pretending to be something else pretending to maintain this self-concept which is really what hiding is so that was that was pretty amazing when I, when I saw that this morning and then it just seemed to, I could see how it was, tra how it transferred to everything like with, um, with singing as well. There's getting in touch with, there's something that wants to come through and, um, Yeah, I've just gone blank, so I'm just going to wait for it to come back. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, with the singing, um, feels like the, the prompt has been coming in over the last few months for me to write like some opera music, and initially I, I um. I dismissed it, you know, just pushed away. Oh, I, I couldn't possibly do that. But it has, yeah, it, it's been coming in stronger and stronger. And I did actually start to put my mind in the direction of maybe writing something. I had a joining with Frances and she said, well, maybe you could write something for the documentary and I could feel all this inspiration with it. So I, um, I started putting my mind towards writing opera and, uh, I would have this experience where all this inspiration would would come in and uh, I would I would start to hear things in my mind and would feel so vibrant and so I would start working on the song and I would feel great about it and then a few hours later all this doubt would come up in my mind and I would 
dismiss everything that had come through and um, yeah, just a lot of darkness and doubt thoughts were coming up. And um, yeah, I, uh, one afternoon I just, I, uh, there was, I was had a lot of emotion coming up around it and I, I joined with Jason about it and I just said to him is, is this really what I'm supposed to be doing? Because I just feel like there's a hopelessness in my mind or just this, this feeling like I, I, I can't do it. And he said to me, um, yes, this is, this is truly what's given. And, you know, at one point you made a decision unconsciously to, to say no to this, to turn away from, from actually looking at this part of your mind. Because I had for many years, you know, gone in that direction of pursuing a, a career as an opera singer and um and the unworthiness and the doubt got so strong I couldn't move through it and I so I went in a totally different direction and I and I think I did made make a decision I'm never going to look there again and um yeah he just said to me that this is actually the start of you turning back around and facing what you said you would never face and it's just flushing up um, all of all of this unworthiness and this doubt. So I was having this this contrast experience of all this inspiration, and then and then the the flip side of it. But I feel like I'm being shown that the spirit has um, always has a way out. There's the spirit's plan is is solid, and if it's and and if there wasn't a way out, it wouldn't be the spirit's plan. So I I when I was kind of going through this 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 doubt and I felt like I was getting locked up and I wasn't able to, to move forward with the music. I, um, I actually said to Jason, well, can I just sing for you what I've got so far? I had all these lyrics coming in and just some melodies. And I, so I went over and I, I sang it for him and I just said, I, you know, I feel it's the start of something, but it's not, I don't fully feel my heart is opening up with it. It's like, I'm not connected in a deep way with it. And, and he said, well, what about if we just maybe listen to some music that, um, that just has a vibe, like, like a feeling, and, and get in touch with, with, with that feeling and let, it, let something come from that. And I felt great about that, just kind of, because that's, that's what I want. I want the music to re really come from my heart and not, about, and not have it about just trying to um, create, create a song. So we started listening to... Um, these, this music, he had a, he has an audio blogs account and himself and Francis had gone through and just picked out some, some music that they felt really inspired about by, and possibly were going to use it for the documentary. And so we started listening to, to, um, this, this music and I, I, um, I took out my lyrics and I had about six different songs written, but I wasn't put to music yet. And when I would feel something with one of the, with one of the songs, I would just, try out some of my lyrics and it, it was amazing. I, some of the songs would just like fit perfectly. I would just hear the song and then I would sing, sing the lyrics, just be improvising and it would just line up perfectly. And it was in this effortless way that I, I felt like I wasn't actually doing anything. It was really, it was, it was just coming through without any conscious effort. And then we would go to another song and I would, try some of my lyrics and then it wouldn't work the lyrics wouldn't fit with that particular song I was like okay that one that that's not given let's try another one and it was actually amazing because it was being revealed to me in this process that I wasn't writing anything it was like these songs were already written and I had to just trust the feeling of something that was flowing something that was coming through in an involuntary way and and go with that. And then when it wasn't flowing, okay, it's a different direction. And in about half an hour, there was the beginning of about six songs that I, I still need to work on. And I feel like they need to be polished, but all of the lyrics I had written were matched with this music. And, um, yeah, it was just, it was just very inspiring to see how it unfolded. Um, but I, these songs weren't actually opera that I was singing. It was just, I was just singing like my normal regular voice. And I, but I still had this prayer that I wanted something to come through, like some opera to come through. And, um, 
we started listening to some classical music just to get in the vibe and something just wasn't flowing with that. So Jason had this idea, why don't, why don't we listen to some dance music and, and see what comes from that. And that was kind of like an idea that came totally from left field for me. I, but well, I never put those two things together. I've always thought of opera singing as all, always being classical and then the idea of putting it with dance music. But we said, well, let's just go for it. So put on the track and it just kind of dancing to it and just really felt the vibe. And, and the next thing I just spontaneously started singing and just allowed whatever wanted to come through. And it was amazing. I just, I started to feel that deep feeling of connection that I had been looking for in what I was writing, but it was in this effortless way that I was really doing nothing. It was just in the moment, spontaneous um, sounds coming through. Sometimes there were words, sometimes there were no words, but it was just, it was being revealed to me in the moment. And I could just see in that, that the spirit, you know, had, has a plan and there's always a way to, to move forward. But if I stay stuck in my, my past ideas of how it's supposed to be, and I'm, I'm coming from the past, there's like nothing fresh in that. So it was just, yeah, it just felt like a miracle for me that something so new could open up and I could see that it didn't come from my past reference. So yeah, with that in mind, I, I felt like I would actually like to to sing some of that um, for you today. I, <laughs> yeah, just actually put the dance track on and um, to improvise over it with, uh, <laughs> with some opera and um, just kind of see what comes through. I know that Zoom isn't really built to, um, to play backing tracks and everything. So I'm not really sure what the sound quality is going to be like, but I feel like my practice and my lesson at the moment is really to just follow the inspiration and follow what feels alive for me in the moment and just trust that that's what's going to be, fe going to be felt and that's what's going to be transmitted. And it's not going to be, um, yeah, it's not really about the form. So, yeah, <laughs> going to see what happens. How do I move this down a bit? Okay. <clears throat> Give me a moment. Okay.
Thank you, everyone.